Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel, welcome back to the North Caucasus. My name is Ksenia and in today's video I wanted to tell you how we're preparing for hiking trips in the North Caucasus. And this video is actually a bit unusual because uh, I didn't plan it and there is no script written. But in a couple of days we are really gonna have a hiking trip for the group of 17 people including guides and uh, supporting people. So um, I thought it might be useful for you to know whether there is something special about hikes in the North Caucasus, whether there is special uh, things you need to take with you or what kind of food you can actually buy and take. So if you're interested, continue watching this video, write your questions down below because I guess if you are guys watching this video, you're interested in the topic, you're maybe thinking of uh, coming here one day. So don't hesitate to talk to us. And of course, if you like this video, if you think it's useful, uh, like it and subscribe to our channel. So let's go. to start with is four basic elements that you need to take for any hiking trip including the trip in the North Caucasus. Uh, those are the hiking shoes. Um, yeah I think uh, there is a lot written already about hiking shoes but those are uh, a bit more uh, professional I would say because those are not sneakers. Uh, they have really good uh, protection here uh, in the in this part they also have really good soles and uh, what I also recommend for hiking in the North Caucasus is to have not the short ones like not, not like the sneakers but the higher ones covering your ankle and renting is not a good option uh, for several reasons so yeah I would recommend buying uh, new ones. Uh, what else you definitely need? Uh, no we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna start with the two things that are behind me uh, so this is a uh, sleeping bag, you need a quite warm one uh, and also you need a tent because as I've already mentioned in the video before we don't have shelters here, like we do have shelters but it's not the way um, they are located like in the Alps. Uh, when you can travel from one shelter to another and you don't need any tent to stay overnight. Tent of course is a thing that you can rent so there is no problem with it just uh, yeah get a good one um, but it should be fine and also uh, to sleep in the tent you need obviously a sleeping uh, sleeping pad this is just the type I use and uh, what is special about it is that it has uh, two layers and the third one is a thin one but the foily one because it protects uh, from the cold uh, coming from the ground so consider getting not very thin one like the yoga mat it's slightly different um, so those are four basic elements and the fifth one of course uh, the backpack it's up to you what kind of backpack you choose but for hikes of uh, five or actually four days and more you need uh, something like 65 liters like the volume in it should be 65 uh, liters and more uh, my backpack is uh, let me see <laughs> Yeah, it's actually uh, 75 liters, so yeah, that should be enough to carry all the things in it. It's like you don't need to uh, attach them uh, from the outside. And now let's continue talking about food. This is the food bag we take with us to the mountains. Uh, we pack an uh, individual one for each participant and we also slightly adapted to specific food preferences which uh, people tell us in advance so here is mine and let's have a closer look at all i've got in it so i start with the sweet things because uh, we need a lot of fast calories on the hike here i have the corny breads with caramel flavor then also ginger cookies and then uh, also I have condensed milk, uh, which is a typical Russian thing, I guess, uh, as well as um, this kind of oatmeal porridge. Uh, here I have uh, 
uh, different flavors and it's really really good for breakfast because you can cook it really easy and fast in your own bowl and uh, it means that you don't spend a lot of time in the morning cooking the group breakfast and then cleaning the dishes so yeah it's really good then i also have a bag like the whole bag with uh, various nuts uh, and dry fruits uh, yeah also some bars uh, for example this is kozenak you have it uh, like with peanut with uh, sunflower seeds and um, i think it's very nutritious um, and you can easily take it from your backpack and eat um, while you're hiking all our participants like it then i also have a lot of other bars for example sneakers i guess you all know it then I have the sweets and uh, the tea bags. They always go together when you sit next to the bonfire and chill, you know. Talking about proper foods that we cook for dinner. Here I have my individual packages of rice and uh, the buckwheat. I hope you guys know it. Yeah, we also eat it quite a lot in Russia, but for those who don't eat, we pack just more rice. Also, you add some cans, uh, for example, meat or fish or vegetables together with the rice and you get a good meal. Then you also have some snacks. For example, here's the dry bread. Um, yeah, this is the instant noodles. Yeah, also with the different flavors. So all in all, you've got uh, this bag for five or six days. And then we have also salami and the hard type of cheese. For example, here I have Parmesan cheese. I hope now it's clear for you guys how we're packing and what our menu in the mountains is. To be honest, I really love the way we do it. It's so convenient. Everything is packed individually, so we can easily change things depending on personal diets, uh, length of hiking trip. But a huge disadvantage of this method is a lot of plastic. Maybe you have already noticed. But since we try to be more sustainable and more eco-friendly, we search for new ideas on how we could do it. So let us know in the comments below if you have some recommendations. And let's continue with the other clothes to pack. So guys, and in this part of the video, I'm showing you what stuff I'm taking with me to the mountains. Uh, this time we're gonna have five days hiking trip in our his area, which is in Karchechukesia Republic. There is also a famous, like, a Russian famous uh, ski resort in, in winter time, and uh, hiking is also quite cool there. Besides that, what you need to know is that the area is not really high. Um, the highest point that we're gonna have during this hike is slightly above uh, 3,000 meters and it means that we don't have uh, really cold temperatures at night which means I don't need uh, too much of warm stuff because uh, now it's July and the hottest time in the mountains uh, so I take just regular stuff and if you're a hiker already there is no surprise for you here so I'm just going really really fast uh, about my things uh, so uh, first of all here is my huge backpack uh, as I told you, I'm taking the sleeping bag with me, which is this one. It's already the packed one and the temperatures here are from uh, plus 10 and the comfort is minus 12, which is recommended um, because sometimes, even in summertime, uh, during nights, the temperature can drop down till uh, zero or minus five degrees. So your sleeping bag is the most important thing to keep you warm at night. So mine is like this. As you can see, there are uh, three um, numbers written here. So the maximum, the minimum and the comfort. So what you're gonna do when choosing your new uh, sleeping bag is to look at the comfort uh, temperature not at the minimum because if it says minus 20 pff, yeah I think <laughs> it's not really comfortable uh, in the sleeping bag uh, when it's minus 20 so uh, I put it on the bottom of my backpack and then I also uh, put some heavy stuff in the lower part uh, part of the backpack 
for example cans, for example gas bottle, maybe some equipment, also the tent and when it's a, um, a group trip of course we share uh, the equipment, we share uh, the parts of the tent, for example uh, this time we have groups of two and groups of three, it means that uh, some parts of the tent can be carried by uh, two or three different uh, people, which is really convenient and not so heavy then. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, let's talk about my clothes. So again, it's a five days uh, hiking trip and I don't need much with me. So basically we only have four nights in the mountains, which means that I'm changing uh, like two or three t-shirts, which is even <laughs> a bit more than I need because some people only take two and it's also fine so I have just some basic sport t-shirts like this one I also recommend taking you something some short with long sleeves because when it's uh, sun and in the mountains the sun is really hot the uh, UV is uh, really high so you need to protect your body not only using the sunscreen but also uh, some uh, convenient uh, clothes uh, so yeah I do have my shirt just over there <laughs> I think you can imagine how it looks like I'm not showing it and then I also do have my uh, hiking pants which are just like this hope you can see it also nothing special but it's uh, better than just a sport a leggings or something like this because uh, it has uh, some waterproof uh, function and yeah I also like uh, because they are stretchy it means that if I need to climb up a little bit like of course it's not a climbing trip but anyway sometimes you need to step up and then it's really uh, comfortable in this pants uh, right, what else uh, I'm taking with me is um, uh, this kind of pants which are, oh, I didn't check out the English word for that, but you know, uh, it's a really warm, uh, yeah, warm type of clothes that you use as an underwear. I also have this one and yeah usually i sleep in this uh stuff and if it's cold to, to hike then i also put it as an underwear and hike in it right so i do have the underwear i do have my hiking t-shirts and pants and here i also have a pair of socks which are uh, so much better than just regular city socks because uh, they dry much faster, they also have a perfect length. I recommend having this type of socks, I have uh, two pairs of them and I also have um, yeah, the wool uh, socks which I also wear at night or uh, yeah, when for example I want to dry my feet after a hike but I still want to wear something and let my uh, feet breathe a bit so yeah I do wear the wool socks and I also recommend taking the natural ones what else um, yeah I also take my uh, cosmetic bag well obviously not with cosmetics there but uh, some sanitary items uh, for example toothbrush toilet paper and this kind of things uh, by the way, I already made one video when, where I described uh, in details what kind of things uh, you should take with you and you can check the link up here. As an organizer, I also do have uh, this kind of bag. Um, I always hope that I'm not gonna use it, but you know, the most common things in the mountains is something like headache, uh, which is obvious because people change their altitudes very fast. They just arrive to the area, to the region, and then they go to the mountains and then, uh, yeah, it goes very fast and your body and your head is adapting. Um, so you need some pills maybe to uh, kill the pain. Uh, then what else is in here is something uh, for your stomach because also people come from different regions. They have 
um, yeah, new types of water, types of food, and you need something for that. I insist actually that everybody takes their own medicine because um, you know your body better and uh, yeah, maybe there is something that you already checked how it works for your body. I hope that this was useful for you because there is no information about hiking in the Caucasus and uh, yeah, maybe if you comment under this video with your questions, then I can make a new video and uh, be more uh, useful for you. And I guess that's pretty much it. I hope uh, you liked it. Uh, please show it by liking this video. This would be really great and really supporting. Uh, thank you if you've already done this and see you in the next video. Wish us a great journey in the mountains. Bye!